Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And selamat sejahtera. Salam sanjungan bangsa. Today we from group ZZ's team ID 138. We're going to explain and discuss our study regarding on nexus between experiential learning and student perceived learning in the context of embedding monsoon sim or monsoon simulation in the classroom activities. Experiential learning through simulation and gamification has been became more significant in for IR education. This project studied the relationship between experiential learning and student perceived learning in the context of business simulation, particularly monsoon sim. The quantitative data were analyzed by partial least square structural equation modeling or PLS SEM and advanced statistical technique with the help of smart PLS. Overall, we found that experiential learning has a significant relationship with student perceived learning. Monsoon Sim, for your information, is a combination of simulation and games that has been used in UTM since 2016. It consists of few modules involving thousands of concepts in business and it has been involved thousands of students from business, engineering and social sciences faculties. The players or students have to run their own business like real business competition and each team is allocated with some amount of money as initial capital, they have to manage the resources within the given time period. However, the effect of simulation games and learning on learning remains a controversial issue among researchers. So that's why we're going to study how or is there any relationship between experiential learning and student perceived learning. The objectives are shown in the screen, on the screen. And what can I say about the implementation of Nali approach here is beside the study on nexus between EL or experiential learning and student perceived learning, in the context of business concept understanding, the creative part of this project could be seen on optimizing experiential learning through simulation and gamification. Monsoon sim as class activities through scoring metrics and KPI target that enhance business thinking skills towards producing graduates who are competent in entrepreneurship to be more competitive in the job market is considered as its innovativeness. The research methodology is fully quantitative. There are 93 undergraduate students involved in Monsoon Sim UTM ERMC 2020. Questionnaire has been adapted from Young et al. And it has been used as instrument to measure experiential learning and student perceived learning. While PLS SEM has been used as an advanced statistical technique with the help of smart PLS. The study shows a relationship between EL and student perceived learning. However, 
among of the four construct of ex experiential learning that has been proposed by David Koch in 1974, we found that two of the construct, which are abstract conceptualization and reflective observation, has negative relationship with student perceived learning. Meanwhile, concrete experience and active experimentation, experimentation have a positive relationship with student perceived learning, which is shown in the, in the diagram or in a figure one, as shown on the screen. Negative relationship between abstract conceptualization and student perceived learning can be explained by the learning style that also has been proposed by Koch 10, 10 years later in 1984. And within the abstract conceptualization is so-called assimilation learning style. This kind of learning style is on ability to create theoretical models, compass alternative, defines problem, establishes criteria, and formulates hypothesis. In the business simulation, particularly monsoon sim, students do not necessarily on assimilation learning style that involve and understanding of theories and formulas. However, there are only quite simple business concepts that can be understood by the student easier compared to do understanding on theories and formulas. However, even though Partial of the construct of experiential learning is have a negative relationship with the student perceived learning. When we did our analysis overall of the experiential learning constructs, we found that the relationship is significant. This is shown in figure one, figure two, as on the screen. That's all from us in our project here. Thank you very much and see you again. Bye-bye.